Hi, it's Emily. Today we're going to unbox this Piccolo. It's an E-Star EPC-3S. Um, it's worth approximately $100. And I'm gonna open it. So here you have, I guess it's a fingering chart. And then you have gloves for marching band, I think. And some cloths to clean it. That's nice. Okay. I guess this cloth probably has a... Yeah. So you can go through the pickle. Okay. Let's go to the interesting part. The instruments. Okay, that's cool to have all that. So when it comes in... Uh, you have a little pocket of silica, you don't need to keep it. And it's in a plastic bag, you don't need to keep it either. This piccolo is made in ABS plastic, it's a black resin. So it's, it won't crack, it won't crack like wood would. The keys and head joints are silver plated. There's no cork grease. But I have some, maybe I should put some. Here I have some grease for the cork. Don't put that on a flute that's uh, metal because it's not a good idea. Only on cork you put that type of grease. So here, so it's easier to put in. The high B one I got out pretty easily. It's good. Okay, so I'll try um, to do a little excerpt from uh, the Barber of Seville by Rossini. So there might be a leak because um, the E and D are, you can hear there's a little leak. Uh, it might be because I just opened it and through playing it, it's gonna regulate itself and the pads are gonna adjust, you know, and the... Yeah, it's, it's uh, the right hand. But as I said, I just unpacked it. Now I will play with my piccolo. It's a Yamaha 61. It's made of uh, wood and uh, silver for the keys. Uh, it's approximately three, four thousand dollars, I think. Um, so I'm gonna try the same excerpt. So now I'll put both piccolos again so you can listen to them one after the other without interruption.
So did you hear a difference? Uh, my opinion is that um, my piccolo is more for someone who wants to do some professional work, symphony orchestra or high level student in university. Um, this one is cheaper and um, can be very good for someone who plays outside particularly because that doesn't crack. And I was impressed by the high register. I think that um, the type of felts that they put probably will get better with time by playing it. It will get a bit more tender and it will probably seal a bit better. That's my, um, my guess for that. So the high register was very easy. The articulation was easy. Uh, if you play in a um, marching band, a lot of high notes, it's gonna get out pretty easily. For $100 on Amazon, it's a good choice. Um, it's well built. It's good for a, someone who wants to try it out, see if they like the piccolo, someone who plays outside, because as I said before, it won't crack. And um, yeah, if you are curious to hear again the, the difference between the two, you can always go back and listen again. You can find a link to this piccolo, the E-Star EPC-3S, in the description below. If you like the video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I love to read them. And see you next time. Yeah, it's not bad. The high notes, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs>